your favorite flex play this weekend. We're talking running back, wide receiver, or tight end. Who is more than $7,500? Yeah, I didn't realize I was a peasant. Uh, that was sort of a backhanded introduction. I do like Travis Kelsey quite a bit here, though, at $8,300. I'm going to utilize the tight end feature of the flex. And this is a guy that really has been the most ironclad fantasy option since the start of last year. There were only five times in 2020 where Travis Kelsey didn't catch a touchdown. There were only three times where he caught fewer than six passes. The guy almost led the league in receiving as a tight end, finished second by just 100 yards. Uh, I love this play here. I think that he's going to continue to get run. And frankly, I mean, I think that there's so many exciting names up at running back when you look at the very high priced options. Uh, I think that maybe Travis Kelsey is a guy that gets slept on. But you look at Cleveland's defense, really, really bad last year. One of the worst teams in the league and allowing points to tight ends. I think that this is a great matchup, great time to pounce on Travis Kelsey, perhaps to capitalize on sort of low ownership for a guy that's, you know, usually pretty popular. Uh, Jeff, you got about 13 guys to choose from here. Who's yours? <laughs> yeah, look, I, I feel like <laughs> all the top running backs, the top four running backs, you know, Derrick Henry, Kamara, uh, McCaffrey, and Dalvin Cook, they, these guys, we could talk about any four of them, and, and you'd be right. I think it's very close. Uh, these guys all look a little bit underpriced for week one, but for me, the, the option is Dalvin Cook. I, I think he's just ahead by a little bit here, and it comes down to part of its matchup. You know, you've got a Cincinnati Bengals run defense, Bottom three in terms of yards per carry allowed last season. They're really probably not going to change much in that regard. They get a little bit better. Uh, and, and then you've just got a guy in Dalvin Cook who, look, we know the usage is going to be there. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings, Alex Madison, you know, when he started, it's just, it's not been good. So uh, I, I think you look at the matchup, all things considered, you know, Cook has that advantage over uh, Derrick Henry in the PPR game. You've got a guy in Camara working with the new quarterback, and then you've got McCaffrey. Let's give the Jets' run defense a little bit of credit because Kenny's on the show. I think Cook is the best choice of those guys, and uh, he, he's my top running back play as well as flex play. So, Reed, shockingly, he did not just name all 13 players he had to choose from. <laughs> oh, he's he, but he did kind of a pseudo like all four running backs are viable, so he's still on brand. Get and to I your like these. These peasants got a lot of money to spend, right? You got Travis Kelsey above 8K. You got you got Dalvin Cook above 9,000. I'm going to save a little. I'm going to pinch some pennies here. I'm going to be like Quran and, and try and really save on my cash here. Uh, but it's not really saving. DeAndre Hopkins, uh, $7,800. I think he's a fine option. Look, last five games of the of the season last year, Emerson and, and peasants, uh, like he had double-digit <laughs> targets, over eight receptions in four of his last five. Touchdowns weren't necessarily there. Kyler Murray was a little banged up. But I I think the A.J. Green acquisition, I think getting guys like Rodney Hudson over, Steve Kime did a lot of stuff in the offseason, having Rondell Moore in the draft. I think that's going to help D-Hop against his Tennessee defense. So give me D-Hop at 78. 